and we really need your help. It was the desperate pleas of women outside the Harriet Tubman shelter that moved so many of you. So I took their concerns to Anthony Newman, Deputy Administrator for Individuals at D.C.'s Department of Human Services. We operate a shelter where we take anyone who needs a bed. Newman says DHS has a process to file complaints and investigates them all. Because to be honest with you, that's how we continue to make improvements. So Newman took me on a tour of the low barrier shelter. 175 women sleeping in bunk beds, each with a locker for their possessions. We checked out the donation closet. Most of the donations have been distributed uh, just because of the cold weather. Then a supply room stocked with toiletries. If the women need or want any personal effects, all they have to do is ask. People who come here uh, are in oftentimes the uh, stressful, worst times of their lives. And, and with that, we quickly left to visit the first floor kitchen. On this night, Henry Soul Food Cafe provided chicken dumplings and noodles for diabetics, chicken thighs and veggies. Women complained they were going hungry, but I'm told they can ask for seconds, even thirds. On Wednesdays, D.C. Central Kitchen even provides an additional meal for breakfast. And milk is here. Cereal, muffins, fruit and milk. All D.C. shelters stopped serving lunch after the pandemic. And while we first saw Diana Key walking a mile to lunch, DHS says a shuttle bus runs every hour to take women to day centers for food, laundry and case management. Will that be more widely the information more widely available to the women because right now when we mention about the breakfast or lunch we just get a flip it we just get in such an attitude we caught up with miss key who hopes our visit sparks a conversation but that's my goal and kamari evans who hopes she'll get out of the shelter soon of course i am no matter what but how do we help make both folks from this emergency shelter into permanent housing that's our ultimate goal and as shelter staff prepare for another night housing dc's most vulnerable they do so despite the complaints that compelled so many of you to donate and offer help and it's that compassion that really helps drive what we do these folks in this shelter are members of your community in hill east delia gonsalves w usa 9.